Hey guys, uh, in our last video we talked about text boxes and in this video I'm going to talk about buttons. So let's just go ahead and create a page called as buttons and then we'll explore its properties on this page. Uh, there you go, cool. So, and I'm going to change the startup page to button so that when we, when we run our application, it goes to that page. Awesome. So to add a button to your screen, what you need to do is you just have to add a tag called as buttons. There you go. And I'm going to call this button as simple button click. And to catch the event of this button, I'm going to set the property clicked. And when I click on it, it will um, it will go into this function in code behind. So let's go in code behind and see what happened here. Awesome. You can see that there is this button click event which got generated when I, when I set the property clicked. Uh, I'm going to add a label here to show the effect of the click label name this label as lbl simple and i'm not gonna set in text to it but i'm gonna change the font size to large and then go and code behind and set label simple text sorry text to simple button button clicked awesome Let's run this and see what happens. So when I run this, it will go to the buttons page and show one button called a simple button. When I click on it, then it's a simple button click, which is which is the label which we set, simple button click. Cool. So that's how you can handle events with buttons. There is other way you can handle uh, button click is by command way. That's like MVVM approach, um, MVVM way of handling the events. So uh, to do that, we need to set command to your button and we need to write that command in our code behind. I'm going to call this button as command button click and get rid of this click event because that's not how we're handling the command right now and send command property to nothing as of right now because we don't really have any command uh, command set in our code behind i'm going to change this label to lbl command awesome so let's go in code behind and write a function call it as private uh, um, command collect and it doesn't take any parameters but what it does is it sets the LEL command text to um, command command button click awesome uh, once you write the operation the function which you want to execute we need to set a command uh, field on top which will call which will call this function i'm gonna call it as local command um we'll have to add some uh namespaces here and i'm gonna call this command and pass this command collect event awesome so let's run and see what it does so when i run this it will Okay, so the reason why I was getting, giving errors is because we did not set any binding parameters to it. Uh, so when whenever you add a button, you will uh, you can bind your control to any of the commands and code behind. But to do that, you need to set binding and uh, write down local command as the command that you created in code behind. So it knows that this button knows that, okay, this button is bound to code behind to field local command, which calls the function command click. 
There is one more thing that we need to do is uh, we need to set the binding context to this. That means that uh, this page is bound now bound to the UI, the button. So that so whenever uh, so we need to tell this button, okay, where are you going to look for this local command? So it goes and looks for this. Uh, looks for uh, looks for the command in this page. Awesome. If you don't understand, that's fine. We're going to talk about MVVM in our future videos, and that will explain how how you can bind your controls and fields to view models and commands, and how you can convert your fields into different things. So yeah, let's run this and see how how it works. So when I run it. It will show me two buttons. One is simple button click, which we created first, and this command button click. When I click on it, it will say command button is clicked. Awesome. There is one more advantage that uh, you can have with um, command approach. You can set, uh, you can send command parameters with it. What I'm gonna do is set command parameters as US drive and tell my code behind that okay now this function takes a string parameter and pass a string to this function and set it as set it as str here so when i run my application now uh the button will send a parameter qs drive as a string and the command will catch that parameter and use it for setting setting the label Another advantage of using commands is that you can have multiple buttons uh, using the same command. So I can I can have a hello world parameter passed to this button, but I can use the same command for it. So what it'll do is it will pass hello world this time, but this is totally different button which will call the same command. So when I run this. When I click on command button click it will type QS drive and I click on hello world it will show hello world. So that's how you can have a cleaner code behind when when you're dealing with a lot of buttons. Sometimes you have to create dynamically uh, when you have list view you have to create buttons dynamically and it will get super difficult to keep track of which button is where and sometimes you don't even know how many buttons you have to create so that time binding a command and code behind to your controls is very useful all right so yeah that's all about buttons in my next video i'm going to talk about images so stay tuned thanks for watching the video bye